Hello everyone, this is Leonard Tatum, aka Dr. Zeno, here with another video for you. Now, this is my fifth video and I'm finally starting to get the hang of things. It's taken a while for me to really get comfortable on the microphone and definitely it's taken me a while to figure out how to edit my videos and, and present them. So, with that said, I want to at least give acknowledgement and, and recognition to those of you that create videos like this because it's not so simple. And uh, I, I do believe that those of you that are releasing videos like this and have a lot of videos under your belt, that you deserve at least a little acknowledgement of your hard work. So with that said, I say thank you to you. And moving on to what you're going to see in this video, what I want to show you is one secret that's going to lead you to a boss fight. Now, where are we? We are in Birch's Garden Sewers. Now, I hope you've been paying attention to the video because that switch that you saw me click on initiates a timer and it also initiates an event that will allow me to reach an area of this map that you cannot normally get access to and I'm making my way over to it right now this bridge if you go here at any other time is broken just as you see it now but if you click that switch and you're quick enough you, you'll be able to cross over now to get back all you have to do is click this switch right here and the bridge will reform and you can make your way back now how to get to the the boss move this barrel a couple spaces up uh, basically what we want to do is position it to where we can jump that giant gap there and I'm going to push it into the water and now that I've done so I'm going to jump onto the barrel and make my way across now the boss that we're going to fight is a sewer bug but it's an advanced version of it uh, her name is the mother sewer bug now this boss is simultaneously the most difficult enemy encounter that you've reached thus far in the game and it is also the easiest enemy encounter and this is all due to the strategy in beating her if you don't know the strategy or if you don't use the strategy it's going to be a very difficult battle if you do know the strategy it's going to be a very simple battle but let's go ahead and get into it I'm not going to fight this battle seriously I just want to show you a little bit of what this boss has to offer and some of the abilities that it can do. Um, as you can see straight from the start, she has the ability to summon creatures. So now instead of fighting one opponent, you have to fight two. As far as the type of build that I have, it's nothing very special. As you can see, I have Fight and Y to Liga. My Fight Command is level 2, Y to Liga is level 3. If you go into Y to Liga, I have both Inner Fire and Hard Soul. These are at level 3. And I'm going to cast Hard Soul just so that I can withstand a little bit more damage and I'll be able to narrate this video a little bit longer. Anyway, you can see already the reduction in damage. The mother sewer bug attacked me and it only hit me for zero health. Uh, the, the normal sewer bug attacked me and hit me for 14 and some of you might be wondering why is it that the normal sewer bug hits harder than the mother sewer bug. And the reason for that is because the mother sewer bug has an ability that will increase her strength, it will increase her dodge as well. And this is the reason why at first she may seem very weak but she gets tremendously strong to the point where every single attack that she does is going to very easily be half her health or a third of her health even at 289 HP which I have right now because I'm level 2. Now one thing I want to narrate about the boss battles is that I try and set up all boss fights a little bit differently. So you won't be able to come into a boss fight and see something that you've already seen in previous boss fights. I try to make the boss fights differ from one another, but not only that, I try and make them differ from all battles that you come across in between before you even reach the boss. 
Now this particular boss fight, as you can see, there are some overlapping abilities. Sewer bugs are able to poison you, and this mother sewer bug is able to poison you. The difference is that the mother sewer bug gains an increase in stats, whereas the normal sewer bug doesn't. And this is really the key thing that makes this battle so difficult if you are not able to defend against the poison that she, that she does. Now already you should be able to witness an increase in, in damage. Now I'm not doing anything particularly special here. Uh, really I just want to demonstrate the increase in damage that uh, the mother sewer bug uh, gets progressively as the, as the fight goes on. And also demonstrate some unique abilities that require you to really pay attention to what you're doing. One such ability is this ability which is called the needle dance in which you have to press these arrow sequences in a proper order otherwise you're going to take damage. Now I'm not pressing anything which is why I'm taking damage here. So it's not only that you have to get the sequence correct but you have to press it in a certain amount of time as well. And if you do so, you dodge the attack. This, this attack will later on be one of the the most feared dangerous attacks because one mistake and it's possible that you can die especially if the mother sewer bug is able to increase her strength enough times. Okay, and now we got to go through the, the needle dance once again. I'm going to go ahead and try and get these correct. Oops. I'll try and get the rest of them correct. Should probably do less talking and more focusing. Another thing to know about these arrow sequences is that they do increase in speed, so progressively as time goes by, that that button sequence is going to become more difficult to do. I'm going to go ahead and heal. Now it's completely random that the Mother Sewer Bug casted this ability a few times in a row. Uh, she does have uh, a large array of, of different abilities and attacks, but really this ability, like I said, it later on becomes very, very deadly. But at the same time, uh, you're going to want to, you're, you're going to wish that this ability was used on you, especially if you're able to get all the sequences correct, because then you take zero damage. So you can figure that to be your, your free turn. Now, I'm not going to show you this entire fight. Like I said, I just wanted to demonstrate the increase in damage. Already you can see that the poison tick is at 17. Initially when it started, I think it, was, it hit me for zero. And the net damage from that attack is hitting me in the 50s. So definitely things are getting in a dangerous range. So how do you go about and beat this boss? Well, I have a strategy guide. If you look at the links below, my official website does list the strategy for defeating this enemy but just thinking it through because she gets stronger as time goes by it's probably best not to have a defensive like will it's, it's better to have an offensive build like i told you before i have fight command level two i would probably enter this battle with a higher level so i would go in with fight command level three fight command level four would be even better and also from a stat standpoint I wouldn't come in at level 2 which I am right now 
I would come in maybe at level 4, level 5, maybe even level 6. The higher the level, the more damage uh, you're capable of doing. And definitely focus on upgrading your strength stat. Now that's one way of defeating this opponent if you don't want to employ the strategy that I've listed on my website. Uh, and she can certainly be defeated that way. Just know that you have to get through 500 health in order to defeat her if you're just going to try to burn her as, as quickly as possible. So that's pretty much it guys. I just really wanted to demonstrate the strategy that's involved in some of these battles. You know, I do believe that a big part of RPGs is strategy. You know, setting aside story and character development and, and good music, of course, is it's strategy. You know, being able to plan and think ahead and figure out how to defeat an opponent. And although there is not much strategy needed to defeat the Mother Sewer Bug, you at least get an introduction to a battle where strategy will definitely make winning the battle easier. And there are a lot of battles that are structured in this way, where doing a specific strategy um, will definitely make the battles go by a lot easier than if you are just going in blindly or going in without a strategy or a plan and you just are trying to just defeat the enemy opponent. You might not be able to defeat that opponent in many cases. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right here. Uh, for more information on Jacuel Video Game, please follow the links below.